and welcome to Girl Talk. It is a glorious morning today, and we are here being Namaste. Mm -hmm. Stephanie Collar has joined us. Miss Heather has joined us. Harvey from Bikram Yoga. Mm -hmm. And of course, hi. That's Deb. <laughs> That's Deb. That's Deb. That's Deb. But this is she's, kind of, she's just so, what a nice intro. No, never mind. It, well, it's, <laughs> special day today because we're sort of all in our um, meditative zen restorative mode today it. and Heather's here at Bikram Yoga to talk to us a little bit about the qualities that make Bikram Yoga so special and different. Yes, yes. Bikram Yoga is the same all over the world so no matter where you go it's always the same but it's different than any other kind of yoga. We always do the same thing. We start with a breathing exercise, we finish with a breathing exercise and we do the same 26 postures. We do two of each one. It's a therapeutic yoga. It's designed for healing. Okay. It's a beginner's yoga. So anybody oh. can do it. Okay. That's mm -hmm. important. I agree. I think sometimes people get a little intimidated. They're wondering, what am I walking into? Mm -hmm. And if is it going to be too challenging? Will you feel like doing the duck and run midway through? <laughs> That was a posture. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, my first class, I did want to do the duck yeah, and run. Exactly. In your first class, your goal is just to stay in the room. That's the only thing that we ask on your first class. And then every day you build up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. It's always the same. Mm -hmm. It's like any regimen or mm -hmm. regime that you do on a daily basis to keep the maintenance going, to keep everything in the body, every system working really well. It's always, when I think of yoga, I think of effort and surrender. Mm. And I think the, the thing that was hard, you and you'll like this too, is if you have a monkey mind, just saying some, some of us might have a little bit of a monkey mind, true? Almost mm -hmm. everybody. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Or squirrels. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Running around up there. This is Jim. Bikram likes to call it screw loose. So oh, yeah. sometimes we have a little bit screws loose there, uh -huh. and we use the yoga to become more focused, to tighten that up, to get back control of that mind chatter. How often do you recommend people do yoga? And then what are the typical hours? Not hours like eight to five, but mm -hmm. is it an hour and a half? Mm -hmm. What does it take to really begin to... Um, have that healing element take effect. Just even in your first class, just okay. spending, it's a 90 minute class. Mm -hmm. Every class is 90 minutes and we use a far infrared heat. So just being in the room, allowing the heat panels to bring the toxins out of the body, you're gonna feel so much better after the 90 minutes. Even if you just stood there or sat there for the whole class and, and just breathe in the fresh air and allow the heat to detox the body. Is there a time of day that's easier to do yoga than the other? I know that when I, I've done it a few times and I did morning and I felt like it was it took me longer to get my body moving. Sometimes in the morning time body can be a little bit more stiff from okay. being inactive all night. Um, I like it in the morning better because my mind is clear. There hasn't mm -hmm. been a lot going on throughout the day. And, and so it'll I can give you some better. energy for the and whole day does. too, right? And here in the south, because we're using a hot room by the time you walk out of the room it's like oh what do you got mother nature Bring it on. Exactly. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, exactly. I feel great I have energy and yeah. when someone walks in let's say Stephanie and Deb and I decide we're going to come to yoga how do you determine what our specific needs are are there special spots that you pay attention to how does all that work not really this yoga is for everybody okay. so you're never too young too old too sick it's never too late to start from scratch here so you just do what you can and everybody's on a different level and that's what's so beautiful about it we're unique people each one of us are so special and unique that our postures they're not going to look the same okay. but as the more you do the yoga the deeper you're going to get an expression or flexion or I'm strength I'm telling you balance. Sandy Benson <laughs> Sweet she, does. she oh, yeah. is she a walking billboard yeah. about she how drank she drank the Kool Aid. Yeah. She, exactly. <laughs> she did, and yeah. she hauls herself from Bluffton yes. here. Yes. I think almost every day. Yes. Um, it, it's just an experience like she like you can, exactly. can't find anywhere else One in the area. One of the things that I noticed talking about Sandy, if we can use you, Sandy, here is <laughs> that she feels she said her strength yes. has so improved. Balance, strength, getting back control of even just your basic motor skills and just feeling competent that if I want to go and do that, I can do it. If I want to pick that up, I can pick that up. If I want to go dancing, I can go dancing. And for someone with, that's been diagnosed with Parkinson's, mm -hmm. that's an important thing to be able to even just to be able to dance to have that motor control so it's really nice to see that evolution happen and the other thing that you mentioned was the breathing part yes. why is that so important well our lungs are one of our biggest organs and they do facilitate detoxification through the body and when I started this yoga I had asthma and when the teacher said oh you're gonna control your breathing I was like yeah right lady you have no idea what it's like <laughs> yeah, to exactly. have an inhaler and like yeah. you know have a breathing treatment but it's it's been years since I've had maybe six years using an inhaler wow. and so Could you nice. 
implement some of these with children. Like I know so many children that yes. have asthma that yes. if they knew that this was a, a therapeutic option. Yes, yes, the yoga, no matter what age, it's okay. perfect for you. And there's also stretches to help with growing pains. And oh, oh that's my I son growing pains. About growing pains. <laughs> yeah. That's really I spend cool. nights in bed with him rubbing his yeah. calves and Aww. making him have drink water. Instead, we can teach him yoga postures. I you know, all, my grandkids all take it and I think it's the best. We're mm -hmm. gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back here on Girl Talk. Please stay with us.